President Biden visited Saudi Arabia during his Middle East tour in July, but the trip didn't produce many outcomes. Soon after Biden's visit, the kingdom made it clear that it would include Russia and allied minor members, not operate on dependently of the OPEC group. Now, Saudi Arabia will stress unity together with the other OPEC members. Additionally, it will concentrate on manufacturing decisions based on Russian viewpoints and the need of a solid international market. And now, working with China, Russia has devised a grand scheme to devastate the U.S. economy and alter the course of history. In response to rising gas prices, Republican leaders have painted Biden's trip to Saudi Arabia as an ask for oil mission. The president's approval rating is at an all-time low, while domestic inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. Given that this occurred while his administration was waging a regulatory war against its own local global leader oil and gas industry, it is utterly absurd. One of President Biden's critics made a comment on the meeting's appearance. Additionally, he claimed that Biden's efforts to fix relations with Saudi Arabia were an unmistakable display of a very weaker United States. And compared to the rest of the government, its president is far more feeble. More nations want to attend BRICS. Now there's a danger that people may dismiss their opinions as just political. Nevertheless, news of Saudi Arabia's potential interest in joining the BRICS community circulated well before President Biden's visit. Additionally, Pranima Anand, the chairman of the BRICS International Forum, announced the inclusion of three new countries to the forum on the same day. And this had place during President Biden's meeting with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in Jeddah, the de facto ruler of the kingdom. Additionally, it's probable that Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Turkey may very soon join the BRICS alliance. This came after news broke that China had approved Argentina's and Iran's formal membership applications. Additionally, Russia, India, and China discussed enlarging membership during the 14th BRICS summit in June. Jevin Bees. BRICS now, Jim O'Neill. A Goldman Sachs analyst coined the phrase BRIC in 2001. This was done in an effort to provide investors a critical lens through which to view a group of rapidly developing emerging economies, including Brazil, Russia, India, and China. He anticipated that the G7's economic predominance will ultimately be significantly threatened by the BRICs. Additionally, the first BRIC summit was held in 2009, and South Africa formally joined the group in 2010. The group accounts for around 40 of global population and a quarter of global GDP. Consider the G7 countries as well, which all have far smaller populations for comparison. At the present currency rates, it makes up less than 30s of the global GDP. Now, the G7 group of wealthy nations' dominance over the global economy can only be challenged by the BRICS, additionally. This may seem like a crazy notion given that both China and India are organization members, Additionally, over a long period of time, border conflicts between these nations have become deadly and aggressive. The Quad was established by the US, Japan, and Australia to oppose China's expanding influence in the region. The Quad also includes India. Iran and Saudi Arabia are also being evaluated for membership in the BRICS, despite neither country having a reputation for being the greatest of neighbors. Since the formation of the group, there has not been any major intra-BRICS trade. But this world energy system is dissolving into two halves, both those who support and those who oppose Western sanctions against Russia. intra BRICS trade has received unprecedented strategic relevance in terms of oil geopolitics. Russian officials have also used significant discounts to divert Western-approved crude oil exports to nations like China, India, and Brazil. Also included are other smaller importers, such as those from Egypt, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and others. Today, Russia can boast a current account surplus as a result of the increase in oil prices throughout the world. Additionally, this is a rise of more than three times what it was in the first quarter of 2017. The value of the ruble, which recently hit its highest point in seven years and is the world's best performing currency in 2022, also triples. India bought five times as much oil from Russia in June than it had in 2021. In addition, China has surpassed Germany to become the only buyer of Russian crude oil. Brazilian dependence on Russian oil and fertilizer imports has reached dangerous level. According to recent statements made by the foreign minister, his country is interested in importing as much petroleum as possible from Russia. Russia's imports of fuel oil from Saudi Arabia increased by more than fourfold in the second quarter. 
Additionally, the action was taken to free up space for the export of the kingdom's own crude oil and to meet the peak summertime demand in the power industry. Fuel, food, and fertilizers are among Russia's top exports to the world, and China, India, Brazil, and Saudi Arabia are all keen to buy them at the lowest possible cost. The BRICS currency now the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine and the U.S. Federal Reserve's authoritarian budgeting policies have placed the foreign currency market in a significant state of uncertainty. These skewed assessments are making the dollar appear to be stronger than it actually is. And investors in all other currencies and economies should take this as a warning. As a result, there has been an enormous movement to abolish the U.S. dollar's role as the world's reserve currency. As a result, many countries are considering creating new payment systems. They also believe that this new order will be safer and better appropriately represent the non-Western world. A strong BRICS is ready to demolish the petrodollar's hegemony in this new age right now. At the BRICS conference this year in June, Russian President Vladimir Putin put up a revolutionary idea. Furthermore, he said that the BRICS nations will issue a new global reserve currency to be known as BRICS money. As a result, the US dollar will see significant volatility if the verdict is carried out as predicted and the launch and use of BRICS currencies may soon pose a threat to the US dollar's hegemony in global trade. In the foreseeable future, it is anticipated that the BRICS organization would expand and include several other emerging nations. Argentina is now formally applying to join the BRICS. The fact that Saudi Arabia, a longtime friend, wants to join the BRICS group, however, may surprise the US. In a further development, the president of South Africa stated that Saudi Arabia is considering joining the growing BRICS group. The supremacy of the US dollar may be challenged by Saudi Arabia alone through this approach. Trading in the BRICS currency might thereby end the global monopoly of the petrodollar, providing Saudi Arabia is included in the expanded BRICS. Then why does the US petrodollar's value potentially suffer much from Saudi Arabia's tense relationship with the US? All of this dates back to the 1940s, when World War I, I had a particularly negative impact on Europe. 44 nations agreed to the Bretton Woods system as a way to deal with the perilous economic environment that prevailed at the time. All nations committed to integrating their currencies with the US dollar, and this was done in accordance with the limitations of the new currency. To stabilize the world's economy, the dollar's value was fixed to gold. Midway through the 1970s, it consented to grant the Gulf nations access to us military assistance in exchange for the exclusive right to trade oil in this currency. As a result, the petrodollar was developed. Through exerting its will on the other OPEC nations, the Saudi monarchy has been very useful to the US. Furthermore, it is well known that Saudi Arabia is the country that provides the most crude oil to the United States and the rest of the world. It accounts for 17.2 of all shipments worldwide. Now, the United States affected oil prices globally to some extent by faking Saudi Arabia's ties to the currency. However, there has lately been an increase in hostilities between the Trump administration and the Saudi royal family. Since President Biden took office, his administration has pushed the Saudi royal family's restrictions. Riyadh reportedly objected to the Biden administration's decision to stop providing diplomatic and logistical support for Saudi Arabia's military campaign in Yemen. The Saudi government has been extremely frustrated by the Houthis' ongoing attacks on Saudi oil facilities. Additionally, Biden has courted Iran, the bitter competitor of Saudi Arabia, in an effort to revive the Jispoa nuclear agreement. However, there are two sides to the growing concerns. Additionally, the Biden administration recently asserted that by sharply cutting world oil supply, OPEC was siding with Russia. In response, Democratic lawmakers introduced a plan that would remove crucial U.S. military hardware from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. 